Hello all, welcome to the new video of Signal Sync Systems. In this video, we will see how to derive Fourier transform from Fourier series equations. Okay, we all know that Joseph uh, Fourier was the inventor of this Fourier series and Fourier transform. And uh, you must be surprised that first he invented Fourier series and then 20 years later he came up with Fourier transform. So before going into those mathematical equations, we'll see what is the intuition behind that from Joseph uh, Fourier perspective, like how he arrived at Fourier transform. So once we get that, what is the intuition behind it, that will be like a few uh, mathematical steps away from uh, writing a Fourier transform uh, equation from Fourier series equations. Okay. So we'll see that shortly. So we have two signals here, one is periodic signal and a periodic signal. So we know that Fourier series is used to represent a periodic signal such as this one in terms of sine and cosine functions. So we know that the Fourier series coefficients of a periodic continuous signal can be written as this. Okay, So 1 upon T naught integral of minus t naught upon 2 to t naught by 2 x of t into e raised to minus j k omega naught t dt ok where t naught is the one single time period of a signal after which the signal repeats itself ok so the signal repeats itself after time t naught. This is the x of t signal. In that case the Fourier series coefficient will be ck will be 1 by t naught integral minus t naught by 2 into t naught by 2 that is over a period t uh, over a period t naught. So x of t e raised to minus jk omega naught t dt. So this we already know. This is Fourier series. Okay. Now, this x of t can be written as summation k is equal to minus infinity to infinity ck e raised to jk omega naught t dt. Okay. So, these two equations are what we call as Fourier series. Now, this is used to represent a periodic signal. Okay. But in real life, we don't have periodic signals. We see only a periodic signals. Okay. So, whatever we speak, it's a, a periodic signal. So, how do you represent such signals which we use in day to day life? So, that was uh, the question which Fourier asked himself. So it took him around 20 years to come up with Fourier transform. So the way he came up with is uh, very interesting. As you know, I said that periodic signal is a signal which repeats itself after a certain time period called as T naught. Okay. So this is such signal with T naught. Let's draw one more signal here. Such as this. Okay. As you can see, now the T naught period is bigger here. Okay. If T naught was 1 second here, now T naught is 10 second here. Okay. So, what happens if you draw one more signal which has uh, T naught 25 seconds? In that case, uh, let me draw it here. So, it will be like 25 seconds. Okay. So, I can't draw it here. So, this is one period. From here to here, it is one period of 100 seconds. Okay. After 100 seconds, the signal repeats itself. So, Joseph Fourier got an idea by extending the time period to a bigger value. 
okay he started with one second then he came up to 10 seconds and then 100 seconds and then for a signal like this which is which does look a periodic signal for us because we don't know what is the value of t naught so he assumed that a periodic signals are also periodic signals with infinite time period t naught because we don't know what is the value t naught so t naught is that time after which the signal repeats itself okay so this is a periodic signal so it may be starting from here and after infinite time we may see the same signal repeat itself here okay so after infinite time so this time period from here to here it is infinite time so that is what Fourier thought okay so he thought a periodic signals are also periodic signals with infinite time period which is pretty valid point so with this intuition he was able to came up come up with Fourier transform okay so oh, a periodic signals are also periodic signals with infinite time period okay so here we know the time so we call it periodic signal but for a periodic signal we don't know after what time it repeats itself okay so with t naught tending to infinity a periodic signals become periodic so this was the intuition behind Fourier transform that is as the time tends to infinity the a periodic signals become periodic so since uh, the Fourier series applies only to periodic signal now with this small substitution that is t naught wherever there is t naught will put it as infinite infinite value so then we'll uh, simplify that mathematical uh, equation and then we'll see what is the final uh, Fourier transform equation okay so we know what is the intuition let's see what is the Fourier series equation and then make a valid substitutions uh, and then let's see the simplification part okay so these are the Fourier series equations where x of t is a uh, periodic signal then x of t can be represented as the summation of k equal to minus infinity to infinity ck e raised to jk omega naught t dt where ck can be found from the equation 1 okay so for Fourier transform we assume that t naught will be infinity that is infinite value so using this we know that omega naught is equal to 2 pi upon t naught so 1 upon t naught is equal to omega upon 2 pi so for Fourier transform we are applying the limit that t naught tends to infinity so applying this limit to 1 upon t naught so what happens uh, as the time period increases this omega will be very minute value okay so because it is inversely proportional so omega naught is uh, inversely proportional to t naught so t naught we are assuming that it is infinite so omega naught will be very very tiny value so this omega naught will be very small so we will represent using delta omega on 2 pi so with this assumption we have 1 by t naught as delta omega upon 2 pi so let's rewrite ck this is 
डेल्टा ओमेगा अपॉन टू पाई एंड माइनस टी नॉट अपॉन टू टी नॉट बाई टू एक्स ऑफ टी एस टू माइनस जे के ओमेगा नॉट टी डी टी सो दिस इज द एसम्शन एंड ऑल्सो If we directly substitute the value infinity here, that is one now over infinity is zero, so the whole expression becomes zero. So this is not a straightforward simplification. So we'll have to make use of this second equation to get a Fourier transform equations. So we'll see how to do that. Let me take a new page. So for a periodic signal, uh, we have assumed that it is a periodic signal with the uh, infinite time period t not we can then represent a periodic signal x of t in terms of fourier series as this equation 1 okay so this part is ck okay so for a periodic signal we'll have additional limit here t not tending to infinity and then 1 over t not will be delta omega upon 2 pi and also note that we have replaced k omega not with omega so this k was uh, constant it could have taken value 0 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 etc multiplied by omega not so this was a discrete value since uh, as time period t not tends to infinity we saw that omega not will be infinitesimal small value okay so it will be infinitesimally small value in that case this discrete k omega not will take can be replaced with omega which will be a continuous value so that simplification is made here so rest all is uh, already explained okay so we have this value here now let's further simplify this part okay we can also re replace delta omega with d omega and take out this 1 by 2 pi which is constant out of the summation loop and also the summation can be replaced with integral okay so let's rewrite all those uh, and uh, come up with a fourier transform equation so i have written the final equations after uh, our assumptions so let me repeat what we assumed again uh, for better clarity so we assume that for a periodic signal t not is infinite value and omega not is inversely proportional to t not okay so as t not is very large omega not will be infinitesimally small value okay so omega not is infinite decimal value and t not is infinite value so as omega not is a infinite decimal value we can safely assume that this discrete value k omega not can be replaced with continuous value omega and delta omega can be replaced with d omega so that's what i have done and also the summation can be replaced with integral okay so this is minus infinity to infinity so it has been replaced with this integral minus infinity to infinity and this 1 over 2 pi has been taken out and this delta omega which is now d omega has come here and uh, t not is infinity so we have replaced minus t not by 2 to d not by 2 to minus infinity to infinity so that is here and uh, x of t e raised to minus g omega t dt remains okay now so this is a our periodic signal x of t can now be represented 
as 1 by 2 pi minus infinity to infinity and we call this part as x of omega into e raised to j omega t d omega ok let me write it again x of t is equal to 1 upon 2 pi minus infinity to infinity x of omega e raised to j omega t d omega so this is nothing but representation of a periodic signal x of t in terms of exponential function e raised to j omega t under the integral ok so this is what we call Fourier transform representation of x of t so this is nothing but Fourier transform equations ok where x of omega is the Fourier transform coefficient which is minus infinity to infinity x of t e raised to minus j omega t dt so this is how uh, we have come up to Fourier transform equations ok so this is the actual signal uh, which is represented with the help of Fourier transform coefficient x of omega and to find that x of omega which is Fourier transform coefficient you need to integrate x of t with e raised to minus j omega t dt for infinite time period because we have assumed that this is a very valid assumption that a periodic signals are also periodic signal with infinite time period just because uh, it looks a periodic to us doesn't mean they are not periodic it just means we don't know what is the time after which the signal repeats itself ok so let me highlight these two equations which you are very well aware of so this is uh, the uh, periodic signal x of t ok so I hope uh, this explanation was clear if you still have any doubts please use the comment section and also for those who are writing gate 2020 for electronics and communication students we have created a new website called as gate ece quiz.net the link of which is uh, given in the description you can log in and attempt various questions and also if you have any doubts you can uh, comment there we will be happy to make a video to solve your doubts please subscribe to our channel and uh, support us as always thank you